Hi again, friendlies. Happy Sunday. This morning, I let you guys decide whether you wanted your Sunday night video in one longer video or if you preferred it split into two videos. And most of you said you didn't care, but the majority of those who do care said you wouldn't mind two videos. So I thought it would be fun to do a different earlier video on Sunday, but I did post that this morning. And if you missed it, I'll put a link up here. If you're on a laptop, you'll be able to see a little, they call them cards here. It's like it goes across the screen. If you're on a TV and I think even on a cell phone, you may not be able to see it. So just look at my last upload or I'll put a link in the video description so you can check it out there too. But that was the first part of tonight's travel video, my road trip through Montana. I actually paid to stay in a campground and you won't guess, you won't believe what happened. I paid for a camping spot and you won't believe what happened. So be sure to check that out so you can see. But without much further ado, let's continue our road trip through Montana as I mosey along the roads of Montana. Let's get started. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind your own. Well, I left my campsite at Mallard's Rest this morning in Prey, Montana, and I'm heading to Livingston, Montana. So I don't really have a plan today. I scouted out a couple of campsites on a national forest. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna find just driving because I want to see Bozeman. Bozeman and then I'll head up to Missoula. So I'm just kind of playing it by ear. See where the road takes me today. Hopefully it's just some good camping. Welcome to Livingstone, Montana. Yes, I pronounced it wrong. It's Livingston, not Livingstone. It's so exciting to be in Montana. Population 7,575. And home to cowboys, ranchers, artists, and the rich and famous. Oh, look at the old hay place. This is pretty. A lot of it's not original though, from what I read, that the Blackfoot River, which runs through Livingston, was a lifeline for the community here, but it was ruined, like a lot of things in nature, by people. It, the ranching in the area and the grazing and the timbering just made the Blackfoot River a toxic mess, killed all the fish, and so it's a mess. So, fun fact, the movie A River Runs Through It, was this, this town was featured in that movie, but they had to use a different river because the Blackfoot is such a mess, so they used the guy, guy something, I'll put it in the, in the captions, but A River Runs Through It was featured in this, Horse Whisperer, and the home of many Marlboro ads, <laughs> if you can remember Marlboro ads. I'm gonna mosey on. I'm gonna mosey on, <laughs> as they might say in Montana.
enjoying the ride today. On labor, wages, which most Americans earn, right? Up to, for example, we can go back to the Well, a friend told me about the co-op in Bozeman. I gotta stop. I always have to stop at a co-op. She said there's an amazing one in Missoula, so I look forward to Missoula, Missoula, but I don't know when I'm gonna be there, so I'm gonna stop, see what they've got. I'm gonna do what I do and go past the crowds. The road keeps going and it's a forest road. So I'll follow the road out and see if I can find camping beyond this madhouse of a camping spot. It's a really good road. It's not even really washboard. public land, but there's a lot of cattle grazing out here. It's kind of a mess, actually. Very worn down. Well, this is home sweet home. I even have my own little babbling brook and everything. It's in the middle of a cow pasture, literally. There were cows surrounding us, but it'll do. Good morning, friendlies. Happy Sunday. How are things going? It is a beautiful 37 degrees here in this morning <laughs> Sadie has the morning she loves this cold weather where are you little girl it's beautiful <laughs> zoomy 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 good girl Got it, huh? <laughs> oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Sadie girl?
<laughs> Poor mouse. I'm not taking it. I should, I guess. I don't even know anymore. It's a big one. Uh-uh. Can you leave it? No. Can you leave it? Guess not. What am I going to do? I don't have gloves. Hey, hey, leave it alone. How about if we just leave it? Can we leave it? Good girl. Yes. Any chance I can get you to come with me with no treats in my pocket? Come on, look. Look. Come on. Look. Look. No, leave it alone. Poor little guy. <laughs> well, not really. All right, I was able to get her away from it. I did have some treats in my pocket, and it worked. She left it alone. It took a little cajoling. Now I need to pick it up and figure out where to put it so she can't get it. Oh, gross. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> All right. Oh, where am I going to put it? Maybe up in a tree. Hey, I think I got it to stick up in the tree. Good, a bird can get it. I threw it up there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. You probably can't see it. All right. So a bird can have it. Not my doggy. <clears throat> I can't protect you from everything. But I think when I can, I should. I guess. I don't know. I'm really torn about whether I should let her eat mice or not. She's looking up at the tree. I'm sorry. I know you worked so hard to catch it and I took it away. I'm so sorry. I know, but I'm just protecting you. I, how about some cheese? You want a little canned cheese? I know. I know. The hunt's half the fun anyway. Right? She eats everything. Grasshoppers. Bugs. Bees. She eats everything. <laughs> when we... When we go to the vet, maybe there is, I don't know, is there something I can put her on all the time to maybe help her not get parasites? Considering that she does eat everything, that may not be a bad idea, huh? It's a beautiful morning in Montana! It's beautiful. I know. I know. I took away your, your kill. stumbled upon a whole herd of them. Sorry guys, didn't mean to scare you and interrupt you. Stop it. I know, it means we have some work to do, huh? Oh yeah.
Yeah, I get it. Are you just sitting in the water, little girl? You are. <laughs> she just goes to lay down in the water. <laughs> cool off. <laughs> Happy dog. Happy dog! Sadie, girl! Sadie! You are such a good girl. You're such a good girl. <laughs> ah, it's cold. You are such a good girl. You are such a good girl. Every little detail that you can smuggle with you into your fiction makes your world more real for your reader. And you know, of course, that it just smudges in the background. But that's okay because it was informed by you and your imagination. Human beings are storytelling creatures. Stories what are you up to, my sweet thing? <laughs> Did you happen to eat my napkin? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. <laughs> I think I caught you. Red handed. <laughs> White handed. So President Trump has made a commitment to conservation. Oh, did you eat my napkin? Now with regard to climate change. <laughs> the climate You're not very good at hiding the evidence. The issue is what's the cause? <laughs> You're not. Do you do Don't and look at me Trump like that. that You're not allowed to eat my stuff. Time. Now Joe Biden and Okay, Kamala go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep.